Hi guys, welcome back. It's Lisa. I'm with The $100 House. And our story is that we bought this house for $101 at a public auction. And so this is our journey to um, fix it up and move into it and hopefully someday we actually do extensive renovations to it. But for now, we are going to move into it with our five kits. Uh, we've got a couple of videos already out. Um, the biggest ones are the tour of the main floor and the upstairs. If you haven't checked those out, please give those a look. Um, I'm sure you'll see that it's a pretty cool place, or at least we think so. Um, but today, um, I'm going to be working on a file cabinet. Now I know you're like, hey, this is a renovation of a whole house channel. Why are you just working on the file cabinet? But I had done quite a bit of work on our office, and even though I had done a lot of work, it wasn't really done. There's a lot of things to still do. And I like to stop every once in a while and just do like a little project that takes an hour or two and um, that gets done. And so then I can be like, hey, look, look what I got done today. Not what I did, what I got done. So um, that's what this video is about. I gave my old, old file cabinet. I paid $5 for the file cabinet like 15 years ago and it looks pretty rough. It still, it's got dents in it. I didn't straighten those out or anything. Um, but I gave it a little bit of a makeover, just a little bit of paint, um, mostly so that it'll blend in with the walls in the room that it's going to be in and not stand out and have a lot of attention drawn to it. But like most of my home improvement projects, crafts, other various things, um, the end product usually looks okay, but the journey to get there usually has a few bumps that people that most people don't encounter because they're better at these things than me. I feel like I have a lot of close calls with Pinterest fails in my life. So that's what this is. Um, but it's pretty funny, I guess. And um, I was happy with the end product. So just a little video again on my file cabinet. Hey, thanks for coming on, coming along. I hope you'll stick around and let me know what you think of the end product. water and the gas lines. It's going the right way now. So I'm just cleaning it up. I tried taking the hardware off and other than actually messing it up, I realized that some of my pieces are, are it's really old. It doesn't want to come off. But I don't want to mess it up so I don't, I'm not going to take the silver off. It'll just all have to be white and that'll be okay. I did leave these stickers on. Actually, I started to take one off and realized that I should leave it on so that I don't get paint on the part where I can stick the labels on. Because I always like that part. I want to do it the right way. And these stakes on it, I didn't put those there. Those have been there. Since the last owners. It's really dirty. <laughs> Here goes. Ooh, that's quite. Now we should done this outside. The ground's already white. Oh, I can smell it from here. I know. You know, you're supposed to wear something to cover your face when you do this, right? Probably. Pick up, yes. pick up your hood and cover it. People do that in videos like this. I don't like the way that it's framed. Oh, it's on my hoodie.
What kind of look are you trying to give it? It doesn't look right. No, it doesn't. Maybe that can be a fast aesthetic. I wonder if... Okay, here. Back up for a second. So I've actually uh, spray painted a lot of things and I do not like the way this is working out and also um, it's not as ventilated as I had hoped so I'm gonna I think maybe use some regular paint instead of the spray paint I don't know I guess I didn't um, I didn't sand it down I didn't think about how I, I might need to do that I know it's always been a step but I hardly ever do it and it's usually turned out fine but this one <laughs> not so much okay so we're gonna keep trying Did you paint this side too? I did with a paintbrush. That was it. Because I tried the roller and I didn't like it. I tried the spray and I didn't like it. Well, I tried the spray first. So this is this the first coat? I'm going to have to put two coats on. I wonder if the roller over this will look okay. I hope so. So far, it does not look good at all. That said, it looked really terrible before I started. So at least I couldn't ruin it. After a lot of trial and error, we found out that we like, I like it. When I went up and down this way, and then I'm going back and forth this way with a paintbrush and just with some primer. Um, I think it's going to look good this way. If not, I can always add another coat, but I think when it dries, I'm going to like the way this looks. This side actually has that other coat of the spray paint on it. So I'm actually not liking this side probably as much as I'm going to like the back side of it. I finished and I really like that. Unfortunately, that's not the part most people see. So hopefully I can get that look on the front and maybe on the other side too. Uh, so yeah, it's actually turning out okay even though it started out not so great. Yeah, everything was backwards. Backwards? The knob was. Oh. Oh, yeah. That was just user error. Anyways, so hopefully we'll have a finished product soon and we'll show you what it looks like. So after a lot of trial and error, I think it came out okay. It's kind of hard to see in this room with all the light. The white. Maybe I'll turn the light on. Nope, that didn't do any good. Kind of see how some sides are better than, I mean, they show it better than others. But anyways, from the front. Pretty good. It's not great, but I like it. It'll do. Didn't take me very long. Okay, so that, that's my file cabinet. It's not going to win any, like, Better Homes and Gardens awards or anything, but it will blend in nicely with my white walls, which was kind of the whole point, point. Um, and it will organize my papers, which need to be organized, although currently all my papers are still sitting on top of it in a box. We'll get there. But, uh... <laughs> So we got a little bit more work, well, a lot more work to do on the uh, office and then obviously the rest of the house as well. Um, the next video is actually going to be um, a simple-ish, should be, task of taking the plastic weathering off of our window. It did not go as planned, but the end product was once again successful. So uh, stop by, come back and see what you think because it's again a lot of fun or funny or silliness or whatever <laughs> um thanks thanks for stopping by uh i guess if you like the, there's the whole thumbs up for liking and subscribing and all that and hey if you have a channel and you want me to subscribe to you i love to come and see what you're doing so let me know thank you for stopping by